Hey, how's it going? Hey, man. I've got a coin I'd like to sell. Okay. An 1867 shield. This is cool. Where in the world did you get this? I've had it for maybe 15 years. Okay, and you had it graded and everything else like that? Yeah, this one is an extremely rare piece. Okay. This is really intriguing. I came to the pawn shop today to sell a very rare 1867 proof shield nickel. It's the finest one ever graded and has huge eye appeal. I want to sell this coin because I can use the money and invest it in other things. I mean, this is really neat. This was just a practical choice. I mean, half dimes were expensive. They were made out of silver. This was a nickel alloy that would last a long time. It wouldn't wear out and everything else like that. It's a very cool nickel. There's only 25 made. That's pretty amazing. What makes this nickel so special is that it's a proof coin. That means there was a polished blank coin that was put into the minting machine. They made sure it was a perfect coin. Proof coins from the 1800s are a rare, rare thing. It could be worth some serious money. Basically, what they did is the US Mint would make a proof copy, because all these coins had to get approved. They would make the proofs, they would show them around to congressmen, and they would say yes or no. This proof coin was actual production, and they stopped the production of this coin because the coin had stars and bars on it. And the reason they stopped that is because the North didn't like the fact that stars and bars signify the Confederacy. So they only made this for one month. Then they stopped making it. OK. So how much were you looking to get out of it? 90,000. OK, let me. You know, I, I know it's worth a lot of money. I don't know what they're going for at the moment. So uh, you mind if I have someone to take a look at it? Yeah. Let me call a buddy of mine. I'll tell him about it. He'll help us figure out a price. I'll be right back. Thanks. I think that having an expert is very good to call in and authenticate. I have nothing to hide. I hope he looks at it, because he's going to say the same thing I've said. These things rarely come to the market. So I called in my buddy Dave to help me figure out a price. There it is. That's what I called you about. Yeah. It's a fantastic coin. Wow. I love the toning on it, you know? Perfect. Well, this is one of the great rarities in the American series. It's kind of on everyone's checklist who wants something like the 100 greatest United States coins. It's a historical coin struck right after the Civil War had ended, right when they're trying to drive that fractional currency, that paper money, out of the market. It's a very handsome coin. The 1867 Shield Nickels with Rays is really the king of the whole series. It's like the big fish in a little pond. It's the Shield Nickel that everyone who collects Shield Nickels wants to own. I've had it in the family for a long time. It's a, it's a great one. With the wreaths and the garlands and the whole thing is quite nice. Yeah, and it has a very interesting story. As these things are struck, it forces the metal from the planchet into the crevices. If you have a lot of crevices, it really stresses the dyes. So this is a very busy design and it created a lot of problems. But because it has rays, it makes it significantly rarer than similar ones from 1867 without rays. And nobody knows how many of these things were struck. OK. And, it's, and when they graded it, they gave it a star, which means it's got really good eye appeal, right? It, may, it means exceptional eye appeal. So what do you think it's worth? These have brought in a range of prices, from about 63000 to there was one outlier that brought 80000 We have our opinion of values, and it's slightly different than yours, but. OK. Thanks, man. All Appreciate right. it. No problem. Thanks. Appreciate it. Good, right. good knowledge. Thanks. Thank you. A coin like this is always in demand. It's somewhat of a narrow market because it's a specialist market. So a coin like this usually finds a home. And I think if Rick can get it for the right price, it's, it's a good buy. So what's your best price on it? I told you 90000 I Yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking at like 50 grand. I couldn't take that. I mean, that'd be throwing $20,000 away in a heartbeat. Like Dave said, it's, it's a $63,000 coin. This is probably the nicest one around. Recently sold for 63 at auction. So I'm assuming it's going to sell for here soon. So bottom line, 80000 That's not going to happen. Um, sorry, we're not going to be able to make a deal. Well, have a nice day, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, no problem. They offered me $50,000 for the coin. He'd have to be totally on the desert with no water in order to take that offer. He could have had it for 80, and it's going to go for 120 or 125 in the next few months, probably.